Hey guys, good afternoon everyone. Today is July 4th, 2020 and uh, welcome to another episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights Saturday episode. And I have gathered all your requests, all the stocks you'd like me to review. I have it ready over here. And uh, of course, just reading the news <clears throat> yesterday and uh, reading the uh, Investigram thread, I bet a lot of you uh, are worried about DITO, okay, the third telco, uh, because of the possibility that they will not be able to make it to the July technical launch that they have. But <clears throat> guess what? I was reading through the news from Business World, and I think all the DITO holders will be very happy with this news because, as you can see here, the National Telecommunications Commission has given Dennis Uy's DITO Telecommunity Corporation more time for its technical launch, moving the July 2020 deadline to January 2021. And so, of course, the request was granted uh, primarily because of uh, the impact of the COVID-19 to uh, their uh, uh, construction of the towers. And I also have spotted here that the requirement is for them to uh, build 1,300 cell sites um, all over the country. And uh, as of the moment, I, I think there are at 250. Okay, just, okay, let me read this. Mr. Tamana said, Dito CPCN requires 1,300 cell sites to cover 37% of the population for its technical launch. The DICT said Dito now has more than 250 operational tower sites nationwide. And <clears throat> they're projecting that um, by next year, Dito will be able to finish uh, 2,000 cell sites and, uh, I mean, 2,000 cell sites this year, exceeding the 37% coverage requirement under it, its CPCN. So I think um, this is very promising for uh, Dito and um, hopefully the uh, launch of the third telco will be uh, <clears throat> uh, smooth come next year. Um now that they were given a, an extension, the gov government has granted them an extension to uh, launch their, I mean, to have the technical launch on uh, or in January 2021. Now, how will it impact the stocks? And uh, let's see. Let's see how it will impact the DITO stock right now. So this one over here. Um, this is, of course, a, a reaction to, uh, you know, it's just a market reaction. That's why it dipped. But very timely with that kind of news, I feel that it will just respect, based on technical analysis, some people will still continue to um, uh, sell. Okay. Maybe they, may, they might have missed this news or um, it could be a big player dumping and... Uh, <clears throat> probably re-entering at a lower uh, um, price. So what I'm thinking, uh, looking at the technicals right now, I see that there is a support level right over here. So I feel that um, there could be an extension. Uh, it could be just a fluctuation in the price. And within the day, it will manage to move higher. But I see a support in this area. <coughs> which used to be a resistance here. It's slightly higher. Um, well, anyway, it's an area, right? So I feel, let me just put it lower. See this? Used to be a resistance, used to be a support. <clears throat> we moved. We moved down. We declined. And uh, the first area it'll challenge is this level. Let me just add my Bollinger Band. <clears throat> okay. 
So let me just go to Dito. Okay. So what will happen here is that Okay, let me plot that. <clears throat> there you have it. So see this? 2.84 area. So it managed to uh, break our MA20 line here. So uh, that's the reason why I'm, I'm looking at, you know, some more extensions in the drop. And we'll just probably respect the 2.84 area. So now... Um, what, what I recommend here that we do is, of course, uh, two things here. Uh, you can either closely monitor the market performance within the day at a faster time frame and plotting your support at 2.84. And then uh, if you see price recovering at that level and uh, within the day, it also manages to move higher. Just make sure that you wait for a, a green engulfing candlestick perhaps in this uh, area over here before we enter because it will just uh, follow the same um, method or concept here um, now that we've plotted our support at the 2.84 area you can either play a 15 minute chart or whatever um, uh, time frame you would like to play now 2.84 would be a possible area now if it bounces for instance there's a green engulfing candlestick coming out here and then um slight recovery is happening then you can um trade it uh you can be uh you know uh you can do day trading for that particular stock within the day or uh, sometimes they call it scalping otherwise if you're a long-term investor you can just uh, enter here and then uh, carry on and wait for it to uh, uh, mature in the level where you want to take profit. But in a daily time frame, look as you can see here, it's respecting. Most likely it will respect this um, area of support, which was a uh, resistance previously, and then 2.84 uh, bounce area. But if you're chart, uh, if you're um, trading a daily chart, wait for a green engulfing can candlestick to confirm that indeed we are bouncing at the 2.84 area. I hope um, somehow you're um, getting a few pointers there. Um, but this is based on my technical analysis and I'm using a Bollinger Band as my main indicator, of course, plus RSI. And uh, the reason why I'm saying that um, there is a possibility of a bounce and um, I, a, a possibility as well of just a, you know, a, a slight dip because of the fact that there is a support at that area. I'm not saying that it will totally touch the 2.84. It could be an area slightly higher or slightly lower than that, and then it bounces. But overall, uh, looking at the uh, fundamentals of where is that? Here. Looking at the um, possible impact of this news to uh, the movement of Tito, I see a big sign of hope there that uh, it will recover. Okay. So I'd say for those people who are interested in this talk, it's an, it's a, a, an opportunity um, to enter at a much lower price right now. The next talks, okay, let's take a look at PSEI first. Okay, wow. Hopefully, we break out of this short term. Because last time I, I did this, right? So we said that this is the um, trend line. And... Uh, it managed to uh, break out of this uh, short-term uh, decline pattern. And now what, is what this is trying to break is this part over here. So that is the um, resistance level in a downward trend that we have plotted here. So far, it has respected that. So it looks like um, hopefully we can uh, see 
if it bounces within the MA20 line, which is almost in the same area that we have here, then uh, that's a good thing that you already have an official bounce in this case because we're slightly higher than um, my trend line here. And um, most likely it will stabilize. Sometimes it doesn't take off right away. It will stabilize first, move within this range, and then continue to uh, bounce higher. Okay, so so far just plot that. And uh, this over here as your uh, resistance uh, horizontal line because there was a consolidation right here. And then um, this one as well. So if it continues to start within the 6,370 level or 372 level and uh, the sentiment is moving higher, then all good. We have a breakout there. Now let's take a look at... Um, Mary Mart, oops. Okay, not looking good for Mary Mart. Uh, there was a consolidation that happened here for the past few days, right? Uh, but it broke out or there was a sell-off that happened, so most likely it will drop some more. Uh, we, don't, we cannot see our uh, indicators yet because uh, there were only a few days to um, refer to. Bollinger Band is not yet um, seen. Now, where could it possibly drop? <clears throat> Let's see if it will. Let's see if it will uh, stabilize in this level over here. Uh, yes, that's the first area that we are going to monitor. Uh, the price dropped at this level. And then today it also, I uh, mean yesterday, it also dropped at that area. Maybe it will create some stabilization there. So this one now has been negated. So we have to remove that. And we are looking at 2.94 as our support area. Okay, it's, it's uh, much better to already see the Bollinger Band, but right now it's not showing as of yet. Yeah, because we only have less than 20 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Only 15 days. <coughs> okay, so 2.94, guys, support area. GFC. GFC is... Uh, showing us some uh, signs of recovery there. We managed to uh, cross the MA20 line. And at the same time, you have a um, resistance nearby. Okay, that would be 150.94. Reason why I said that is because at one point, this area, these areas were um, your resistance and then price dropped here and then there was a gap down that happened and um, most likely it will also um, once we go higher it will challenge that let's see if there will be some difficulties breaking that um, and so if you see a red candlestick forming like this again when it reaches this level then that's a sign of weakness that we are referring to and uh, most likely it will retrace however if it breaks that then you have a breakout play and a brand new wave may be formed. Now, okay, now so far it's still sitting at a support area. We are looking at MA20 right here. That's your support. And if we don't break that, that's good. Uh, we might see some recoveries there, but if it breaks the MA20 line, then some more declines might happen. And then the next possible drop could be at this level. Used to be a support here used to be a resistance, and so when it drops, that's the first area it'll challenge. But right now, it looks like your MA20 line is holding, but on Monday, if the price starts at this level and the sentiment goes down, then 1.96 would be the next stop. <clears throat> MWC. Okay, MWC is still stabilizing, trying to create a support at the area where it is at right now so that would be 25.10 so far your 
you're still at the low level in oh sorry MWC <laughs> there <clears throat> okay so we I like this because from a constricted Bollinger band we're now triggering the upper band okay and uh, you ha just have to uh, take note of this area because that's your nearest resistance okay once it breaks that then next would be um, of course we'll see if this will materialize right here overall this has declined uh, so much that it's starting to recover as you can see right here and um, foreign buying that's good I feel that it will continue to move higher guys now if you don't see that the red candlestick forming at the 14.11 I feel that um, bullish sentiment will still continue to push the price higher and the next stock is home oh no home look at that uh, we're starting to trigger the uh, ma20 line showing weakness so if um, let's say on monday we start at this level and then pulls the price lower than that then that's not a good sign that would mean it's just validating the breakdown in the price so if it stops or if it drops as you can see here this used to be your resistance therefore it might uh, reach that level again um, but let's take a look at if you zoom out and uh, see okay this is your MA20 line so consolidation could happen <coughs> 707 let's go back to the daily chart there that's the support 707 because of this sorry noise in the background okay so as you can see there take note 7.07 .07 should hold otherwise if it breaks below that next drop is 6.23 set B The Bollinger Band for SETB is still um, constricted, as you can see here. But I like the fact that we're now higher or we're now moving above the MA20 line. Therefore, if it breaks this level, which is 112.58, which is your resistance at the moment, um, then that's a good story. Okay, that's, it's an area, guys, so it could be slightly higher or lower. Now, it, we have to break that level first in order for us to say we have a breakout play there and once we get out or we go higher than that area we can have a brand new wave and then possibly retracing again and then like that so it might go back to um, your previous resistance will create a, a support if we are able to break that I feel that I feel that because we're really at a very bottom of the spectrum right now um, the possibility of the price pushing higher and higher would be greater. Look at that. Imagine how steep the drop here uh, back in the first quarter of the year. And now we've stabilized. And uh, so far, I feel that we have reached the bottom here. Next one is BDO. BDO. Okay, we thought that it will continue to move higher, um, but of course there's a there is a resistance at this level and looks like it respected that um, area, which is your MA20 line. Uh, it respected that um, resistance in uh, last Friday's performance. Now we might see some uh, some more retracements here, but there's a support right at the very near level. 
which is it's so near it's around 98.02 I feel it's just going to stabilize in that level and then uh, push the price higher okay as you can see <clears throat> there's volume okay there's a dividend uh, play here but the <clears throat> offering is just uh, a few cents so that's one thing to watch out for. It might just stabilize at the 98 level. SMC. SMC, it's respecting the MA20 line, so that is good. We're still higher than the MA20 level. So I feel that it will just um, stabilize, in, say stabilize in that area. You also have a dividend release as well. And uh, that will be this. July 10th. Oh, for BDO, I think, which one is this? So this is done. Let's go back to SMC. This one is for this July. I forgot we're already in July. Time flies. Half of the year is done. And, uh, you know, come to think of it. I've been working from home since March and uh, I'm so lucky to be given an opportunity to experience a work from home setup and so far I'm liking it. I hope they, you know, after this we, I'm sure we're going to have this new normal. We're already living the new normal and hopefully my company continues to, um, you know, grant and, uh, yeah, grant their employees to continue working from home. I'm okay with going back to the office like once or twice a week and then the rest of the day should be at home. That would be awesome. So far, I have the perfect setup. I'm so thankful. Um, working from home, I'm able to record and study my uh, charts every day. I'm able to trade and uh, it's just a perfect balance. The time spent uh, traveling to and from the office is, uh, has saved me uh, money and time, which I've reinvested to studying. Really good. Going back. Okay, so. So we are at the, um, we, we had a nice recovery last Thursday, but it was just, you know, uh, short-lived <laughs> uh, joy there. But I feel that it's just um, stabilizing. Now that we've managed to uh, really break out of this MA20 line, it just re-stabilized and um, created a brand new support in the MA20 level. So I feel that it will just stabilize there because, you know, uh, the stock market does not, does not move in a straight line. Uh, it's a cycle. Uh, people will push the price higher, they will take profit, it will decline, and then same story again the next day. Uh, so what we're trying to achieve here is we should be able to enter at an area which is very near our support. Now that we have managed to break out of that MA20 line, your previous resistance will now be your support, which for me, it's 102.67 to 103 is already a support area. FMETF. Okay, at the moment, um, there's actually a resistance here, which is at this level. That is a short term resistance that I see. And then there's another one over here. So uh, let's see if it will break that. Otherwise, it will just uh, stabilize within this range first. And uh, worst, if it drops. Next possible drop would be um, at this level, 92.95, right? So let's see. Uh, I don't like, uh, sorry about that. Um, this candlestick looks like it just respected the 97.16 uh, resistance level. So we need to be extra careful and uh, closely monitor. If you're still, if you have this position, know that you you have three lines to closely monitor. But if you're interested and still would like to get in, uh, the much preferred entry 
entry uh, level or area would be 92.97. Seeing the candlestick that I'm looking at right now, last day's candlestick. ICT. ICT, uh, your resistance is very near. But if there is volume that will break that, then even better. Okay, you had volume um, in last Friday's performance. And so if it manages to break that, then no good. You have a breakout play. Next possible resistance, if it breaks this, would be uh, already right at this level. 115.48. 115.48. That's fine. Okay, so that's those are the key areas. Overall, how far are we from... Okay, this has already started uh, climbing. And uh, before the uh, decline that happened this year, um, the peak was 148. Yeah, so that's uh, quite near. GT cap. Okay, GT cap is still uh, moving sideways, as you can see. Um, it might uh, stabilize in this area first. 432.95, that level. We're now moving below the MA20 line. So I feel that um, there could be some more selling that will happen in uh, the Monday's performance. Four hundred thirty-two point eighty-five. Okay. We don't really know if it's going to uh, drop up to this level. You know, if it drops, just trying to paint the picture here. If it drops again at that area. It will now have a double bottom at that range. So if that happens, it touches around 365. Uh, what you need to um, observe here is that uh, we want to see an RSI moving, uh, having this pattern. Only then we can say we have a bullish divergence and then a possible uh, change in direction or bounce will happen uh, in this level. But if it reaches this level and then the direction of RSI is downwards, then we might experience some more um, declines in the coming days. So that's uh, the concept that they follow. EEI. EEI is um, so doing sideways still. Uh, 5.02 is our support and uh, or five peso level i feel that it might um, the market might give us an opportunity to touch that area um, we don't really know because in a day we can have a very uh, um, big candlestick something like this and it could even touch that level just for a few minutes within the day and then it recovers we don't really know uh, we're just being conservative uh, we want to uh, enter at a support area so that uh, there's a much bigger potential. Maxis. Maxis still sitting at the support level, um, strengthening this support. If this holds good, um, if you want, you can wait for this, for instance, a green candlestick to come out before you enter. But uh, so far, I feel that we are in the consolidation phase, trying to stabilize and strengthen the support level, which is at 5.41. Pizza. Almost the same story here for pizza. You're still at the support level. 5.88 is the area that we see. 5.84. So it could just uh, move within that range. And if you want to start accumulating, this is a perfect time to start accumulating, as you can see. Uh, this is the very bottom of it. But if you're going to look at um, this um, on a much wider uh, perspective or longer time frame, uh, it's still following that uptrend uh, support there. 
So, so far, we're still healthy at that level, provided it does not break the 5.84 level. MRSGI. MRSGI is, you know, this is what I want to do. I'm going to create this. Okay. And then it's trying to create the triangle. So two things could happen. Okay. If it breaks this line, um, this upper um, side of the triangle, uh, if it breaks that, then you have a um, an uptrend there. Uh, otherwise, if it breaks this lower line over here, then uh, you might see some more declines. So create a triangle, whichever, which area it, it goes, then uh, that will influence uh, the next possible movement. Just draw that line uh, as your marker. Currently, it's just sitting at the uh, uh, support level because here you have a, a technical and asymmetrical triangle. Okay, so that's for MRSGI. Next would be VITA. Okay, look at this. It crossed uh, the MA20 line for VITA, uh, pulling the price downwards. So I feel that we might see some more declines here. Let's see how it... Okay, so I feel that... It might revisit this uh, price range again. 0.79. So let's see how it looks like in our daily. There you have it. Uh, so that will be... So just take note, it could be slightly higher or slightly lower because um, there's a lot of noise happening here. So 0.79, from 0.70 to 0.79, that could be your um, next support level at this point. Okay, it we can see, we might see some um, some more retracements here, but overall, guys, you have already reached the bottom for Vita. And um, just check, okay, when it the price touches this level, how does your RSI look like? If you still see an ascending line. For RSI, that means you might have a uh, bounce at the 0.79 level. It won't go lower than that. Green. Let's take a look at green. Okay, for green, we're very near that resistance area, guys. Take note. Um, this is the resistance that I see. Okay, so this stock has been um, um, very bullish since April while the others are on a decline the stock is climbing up and uh, this is the resistance that we have uh, plotted here so far if it does not break that then chances are price will drop uh, also try to observe how your RSI is behaving while the price is moving higher there look okay but I'm not saying it won't break that because for the previous days, it has been breaking the uh, short-term resistances that we have. Okay, so if it does not break the 1.92, then uh, next drop would be a 1.76. That could be the first uh, area of retracement. Next is ANI, Annie. As for Annie, it's still doing sideways as you can see. Uh, currently, it is still respecting your MA20 line, being the uh, support at the moment. So I think that's still healthy. Overall, it looks healthy. What about the... Uh, there's just a 29% uh, decline in the net, uh, net revenue. Okay, so just use this level as your support. If you want to add some more volume, uh, now is a perfect time for long-term investors take note. And it would be great even if you're a long-term investor or not, always know the support and resistance. That way you can um, you know, be more profitable. URC. URC re respected the uh, resistance at the MA20 line level. So it might drop and uh, uh, test, okay. 
it might go back here 126 level that's your um, weekly chart that's where your ma20 line is sitting at at the same time this used to be a resistance so we managed to break out of that therefore it will just most likely stabilize there and continue the uh, price movement higher there used to be a support here as well okay next is sm as for SM, let's take a look at the daily chart. Okay, you're at the, um, you're very near a short term resistance, but let's still observe if it manages to break out of that. Um, normally, I'd wait for a red candlestick to come out, uh, and that for me is a bearish uh, sign, so it's a sign of a bearish uh, sentiment it could retrace. But at this point, I still see a green. Uh, who knows, there could be a gap up tomorrow or on, on Monday and the price moves higher. Okay, so if it breaks the 950 or 960 level, then uh, that's going to potentially give us a brand new wave there. APVI. Okay, so we have some more declines here, so I feel that it might just go back to... Uh, the previous starting price. This is what I see. It could go back, which is just right. Um, you know, uh, I when I first created the video on um, APVI, I said that um, RLC. I think it was Robinson's. Yeah, it will just follow the uh, price level of RLC because there, it's now. Um, almost, you know, connected. 100% um, owned by a Robinsons now. So there's a possibility that the price level will just be of that range. I'm not saying exactly on the same area, but within that range. Um, so for now, for those people who are interested in this stock, and um, who believe in the fundamentals, so chances are it might uh, drop some more at the 19.37 level. And uh, that now is a much better entry price uh, than this level over here. Because, yeah, a stock could fly, but if you're not able to uh, you know, ride that, know that, a, you know, the hype, dies down eventually and so that means you have to let go of the fact that you were not able to write that so all you have to do is wait for the actual market value of the stock to come out and then just enter near a support that's all that we can do at this point if you're a big uh, believer of the company I'd say just wait first because I feel that it will still go down and you can get this at a much cheaper price tech okay for tech i feel that okay there's a short-term resistance here but if tomorrow or on monday we start 8.19 and um, manage to uh move the price higher than that then we could officially break this ma20 line which is acting as a resistance at the moment okay so still a lot of uh, promising um, outlook here for tech uh, because look at that if you're going to zoom out let's do a weekly chart you're still at a very very cheap level for this stock see this so on a weekly chart it's still stabilizing okay but where could it potentially land us it even reached the 50 level just uh, two years ago. Then the entire 2019, it has been on a decline. And right now, I think it will just follow this pattern. Move sideways and then go up again. Euro. <clears throat> Euro might, so on a weekly chart right away, I can see that we broke the MA20 line here. So we might drop some more, but let's take a look at your daily. 
okay, starting to trigger the lower Bollinger Band. So I feel that it might pull the price down some more. Uh, next possible drop would be 1.97 over here. 1.95, 1.97. Uh, the reason being is this. I saw this. And um, some stabilization here in this area. So it might r range between 1.83 to 1.95. Let me just draw a line, a small rectangle there. Okay. From 1.85 to 1.97 could be your support level or support area. Only because I see this and some consolidation here. Last stock would be MAH. MAH. Okay. So we managed to move higher and then now we're seeing some uh, decline in the momentum and uh, pulling the price downwards because it's triggering the lower Bollinger Band. So next possible stop for me, I think, is 1.91. 1.89 1 to 1.91. C. Okay, on a weekly chart, there is a support here. This, you see it, guys, over here. Then this one too, some stabilization that happened here. So I think it will respect that level 1.89. Overall, you're still at a cheap level, not really, because it has already rallied um, higher for the past few weeks. And uh, people are just taking profit. Okay, so next possible stop here would be 1.36. 1.34, 1 1.36, that's what I see. Okay, um, we just need for the um, volume to pick up here. There's really not much volume, 201 trades uh, last Friday. Um, so if you have other stocks um, that you can choose from, uh, try to uh, first use the number of trades as your qualifier. That way, if you would like to trade this stock for just a particular day, um, the chances of it being uh, executed is really higher because there are more people trading it. But if you only have 50 to 100, not much. So uh, you might have a hard time exiting if, it's your, if you're already profitable. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your requests. And um, to recap, um, of course, we've um, talked about Dito earlier. Uh, many people had panicked, sold their positions. But if your main objective in entering Dito is really for long term, uh, that should not um, uh, impact you emotionally. Okay. Plus the fact that we have uh, shared today a news about Dito uh, being granted for an extension, their technical launch instead of July 2020. Uh, it will now be January 2021, which allows them more time to meet the minimum requirement of one at least 1,300 cell sites within uh, all over the country. And they're projecting to uh, complete 2,000 cell sites by end of this year. So I think that's a, a promising uh, news. Thank you, Business World, for sharing this news. Um, that means uh, some people might just take profit. And then, of course, as you can see, we've uh, plotted a support very near the area. So that means we might see a possible bounce around 2.84 and then price will move higher again. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. If you have requested videos or if you have stocks that I may have not covered yet, go ahead and drop a comment because it's a weekend. I can record another one for you. And if you have not subscribed, uh, click the subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always updated whenever we have new videos. Who knows? Uh, your stocks are included in my daily reviews. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye for now.